the Ruby Weapon Hour with our very special guest, Steve Buscemi. <laughs> It's time to play the intro, it's time to chug mustard, it's time to meet the gingers on Peach's stream tonight. It's time to pet the baby, it's time to shake the bag, it's time to order McDonald's on Peach's stream tonight. Why do you guys come here? I guess I'll never know. It's like a kind of torture to manage this shit show. Shadow puzzle. And now let's get things started. Why don't you get things started? It's time to read donations on the most sensational, incompetable, unbeatable, blind debatable. This is what we call the Ruby Weapon Stream. What? Why would you do that? Wah, wah. Hello today. Hello today. Can you see and/or hear me? Wah. Wah, test one, two, test one, two, three, wah. Hello today. Hello, how's the sound? It's a little uh, echoey in here. Hello, hello today. Hi, how's it going guys? Good to see you. Hello today and welcome to the Ruby Weapon Kitchen. Um, how's it going? I'm nervous. I don't cook around people, uh, ever. So how's it going? What's going on? What is this madness? I don't know. I thought it would be fun. Hello today. Hello, this is not a shirt, it is a dress. Do you see? So I'm sharing a little bit, uh, oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, this is a little personal for me. I, um, I don't usually wear anything like this on stream. This is what I wear 99% of the time are like dresses that are off the shoulder. They are my favorite things to wear. Um, and I'm feeling very weirdly vulnerable, even though it's a pretty conservative dress. Um, but I was like, well, I'm cooking in a farmhouse, you know, whatever. It's a little, you know, someone said I looked like a, like a, what, what is it? trad wife or something i don't know cottage core that's what i think and it's got pockets look at my pockets i can fit shit in here so and my apron too cute right it's kind of baroque maybe which also has pockets which i love um so i have some options for you um I was going to cook for you something called uh, bandit's lamb, which is essentially like a Greek casserole, sort of. But nobody has lamb. I went to butcher shops. I went to grocery stores. I called. No one in within an hour of here had lamb. No one had lamb. So, um, and that's like my favorite thing to make back in college. So, unfortunately, I can't make that. Uh, but what I can do is I have two choices for you. Um, I could make them both. I don't know if I am confident enough to do both. And that's right, both with an L. Uh, but one of them I'm very confident with. The other I have never made before. It is my mother's meatloaf. And the instructions are confusing. And they don't make sense. And I've never made a meatloaf. I'm scared. The other one is Klafutsi, which I have tweeted about before. Uh, it is a more of a dessert. I tend to feed it to Pat for breakfast. Um, I will not be spreading my butt, though I appreciate the sentiment. Um, yeah, no, klefutsi is traditionally made with cherries, but I do have an assortment of fruit with which to make klefutsi. Um, so that is where I'm at. I'm trying to decide which one to do or both. I don't know. I don't know. 
so I asked Eli to be here and he decided to not be here because he had to sleep rude um whatever um so he might be dropping in they're also oops uh, a friend of mine might be dropping in as well i don't know um just if i hear the door open i'm gonna think it's either one of my friends or a robber could be a robber we don't know um that's not, not a robber um so yeah i'm just kind of like sitting here and i remember like looking at the ingredients on here and it was like it's pretty simple for the meatloaf should I tell you now? Like she, the way she wrote it, she's like, yeah, Paige, just like, you just need some herbs. And I'm like, okay, what, what kind of herbs? Cause I'm at the grocery store and she's like, you know, just like herbs. Like, Bitch, what the fuck? It just says one or two teaspoons herbs. So I just, I don't know, but it's meatloaf. So I assume like thyme and shit, oregano ridiculous hold on I can't you guys are talking there we go yeah weed loaf can you imagine some parsley I don't know I don't know she <clears throat> my mom tends to make things really 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 um simple but I'm not gonna put any kush into my mother's meatloaf uh I tried to get high with her she was not interested <laughs> Uh, so I don't know, maybe I will take like a quick poll to see what you guys think, what, which one I should do, or if I should do both. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I should do both, but both is that, how do you say both? B O T H B both, B both, 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 both. Hold on one second. She's Louise. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> both, bofa, oof. Um, I also, I have access to uh, two ovens, one on top and one on bottom there, so I can probably do both. Bo bo both, both, you want me to say t tomorrow? Tomorrow. See, but in uh, Canada, they say tomorrow. So Pat would say something like, uh, hey, you want, you want to play some Mario Kart tomorrow? Or no, tomorrow? And it's like, no, I'll play Mario Kart tomorrow. Uh, orange. A-R-N-J, orange. That's how you say the fruit name. Why am I so nervous? I do this all the time, but for some reason I'm very nervous. I think it's because I have to make something, even something I've made like quite a bit, but it's been a couple months since I've made. So it's like, I don't know. Girls are watching probably, who knows? Um, I'm gonna put this on. Ugh. Cause I don't know why I don't like, I probably shouldn't have worn this dress, I don't like, when I stream, the, the clothes you usually see me in is like a uniform. So I kind of feel like, I feel like I'm not in my uniform. What did you say, Pat? That's gonna be my wife, judge her cook. <laughs> Whoa, stop it, get out of here. Uh, I was actually gonna wear a hat, but I don't have a chef's hat. So, it's a bummer. Um, I do have a large wooden spoon. I have several, in fact, here is one. What? I keep looking up at this light here, but you're there. Like, uh, where's Plague? He's sleeping, I guess. I asked him to be here. I was like, hey, you wanna hang out and like cook with me? And he was like, no, I will be sleeping. Stupid. Thank you, Cactus. I almost hit myself. Thank you, Cactus. I appreciate it. Ugh. I'm nervous. I also, listen, if I do a bad job, I have a fever. I'm sick. No. 
Um, I, I do have like a minor fever, but like whoop de doo that's like three or four days out of the week. Who cares? Um, but I will do my best. So let me see. So what is wrong with me? Is this an episode of Desperate Housewives? No, I wish. I wish I looked like one of them. They're cute. I'm not making excuses. I am simply making explanations. It's different. Um, well, before we begin, shall we give a brief thank roonies to some people? Wow, thank you guys. I can't see. There we are. Okay. I have eyes. Do I have a rolling pin? Who's looking in from the window? Nice try. Nice try. There is no one here for miles. Um, let's see, ba -ba leave the eggs out? Yeah, dude. Well, these are farm fresh, like straight from like the chickens to me. Um, let's talk more food. You're right. We should get down to it. It does look like someone's in the window. It's fine. I'm not worried. All right. If he, you know, maybe someone's hungry and just come in and I'll, Russell, whoever it is, some grub. It's fine. I'm not worried. Um, yeah, the U the USA likes to always put their eggs in the fridge. Um, everywhere else, the eggs are out. Um, oh, is it the back of my head? Yeah, probably. Or it's a murderer. I don't know. Either way, I don't know. It's fine. Uh, I love farm fresh eggs. It's awesome. Super good. Also. In the States, we love to put our tomatoes in the fridge. Don't do this. Don't do this. That will give you mealy tomatoes. Leave them out. Leave the tomatoes out. They won't last quite as long, but trust. Um, let's see. Oh, really? In Australia? Do they really? Hmm. Why are you guys trying to convince me this place is haunted? Like, get out of here. Ridiculous. Listen. I know when the spooky ghost of Abraham Lincoln needs to communicate with me. I know. I know when he's like, hey, girl, what's up? And I'm like, you get out of here, spooky Abe. We don't, not today, sir. And then I curtsy or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Um, is Zool in the fridge? I don't know. Uh, if there is someone outside, well, they can just come on in. Actually, no, please don't come in, but you know. Um, okay, so I kind of want a drink. Like, not like, or anything, but I do kind of want like a small glass of wine. Would you guys mind if I had a little bit of beer or a small glass of wine? I'm not gonna get drunk. No, I know, this will not be a drunk stream. I'm about to be wielding a knife. No, it's not gonna happen. Uh... So, oh, I'm 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 not gonna get drunk. So this is my favorite beer. It's technically a shandy or sorry, no, it's a Barry Weiss. Line and Kugels, love it. Oh, ball sacks. Oh, there we go. I can't get this in uh, Canada, so it's a huge bummer. Mmm, it's so good. It's so good. What percent? I don't know. Like 4.7. It's not, not much. Leinenkugel Berry Weiss. L-E-I-N-E-N-L. K-O-K-U-G-E-L-S. Excuse me. The font is weird. I feel like this beer is only available in the Midwest because when I have tried to get it anywhere else, I can't find it. So, anywho. Oh no, I can't read anymore. I'm just so drunk. Come on. Okay. Jesus, get your eyes fixed. Um, how about you get your attitude fixed, sir? Rude. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let us give a brief thanks. Goat meal, resubbed for 18 months and said, here I am trying to resist the urge to snack. Let's watch Paige's stream for a distraction. Um, I'm going to be snacking. There's uh, some fruit around here. I'm going to be snacking, so hopefully that won't tempt you. 
Broken Dark Tower resub for seven months and said, Hi, Mustard Queen, what's your favorite X Men character? Um, fuck. I really like Banshee and uh, I can't remember her name. I really like her. The one that can control lights and she's kind of like a disco queen. Do you know who I'm talking about? Dazzler. Thank you. Yeah, Dazzler is cool. I think that's sick. Also in the cartoon, I like Jubilee. I don't know. I like Jubilee. I mean, I'm also basic. I like, I like Rogue. I like Rogue. I like Jubilee. I like Jubilee. Uh, I will be sort of baking. The Clef Uzi is technically baking. The meatloaf, I guess, is technically cooking. I wanted, well, also, I forgot. Um, if I somehow manage to fuck this up, which I probably will, I can also roast some vegetables, so, um, which is like the easiest thing in the world. I just toss it onto a baking sheet and throw it in there. It is delicious and I love it. Um, Sleepy Coffee resubbed for 32 months and said, Peach time is all the time. It is good to see you being able to escape the insanity that is quarantine. Thank you. Yes, I am fully vaccinated and I am loving it. Um, I do, of course, still wear my mask in public and around uh, people that I don't know if they are vaccinated, but it, it like, I just feel, I just feel awesome. It's super great. Do I look healthier? Um, I feel, feel really, I feel really good. Thank you. I, I've been told that lately that like my skin is glowing and I just feel, yeah, I feel pretty good. I'm a little bit warm, uh, but that's, I just get fevers every now and then. Hello, Fuggins. Good to see you. Yes, it must be the pregnancy. I am not pregnant. Trust me. No. Uh, the Winged Seven resubbed her 14 months in a row and said, Good day, Peaches. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say we would love to watch a cooking stream. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, here you are. Also, did you get your laptop check? Because what you described on Twitter sounds like the battery needs is getting ready to go boom. So, I mean, I had someone else look at it, and it's not dire. Um, but I should probably get a new thing going on. I probably, probably should get, you know... Oh, if I wanted to fuck with you, have someone in a monster mask walk by the window. I should have. I should have been like, Eli, now is the time to walk by with the mask on. Wouldn't that, oh, wouldn't that be fucked up? That would be so shitty of me to do. I wouldn't do that to you. That would be so mean. It'd also be funny, but it would be mean. And I wish I had thought of it first, but that would be mean. Uh, Promessa X, uh, resub for 16 months and said, choo choo, and a bunch of emotes. Thank you kindly. I feel like, I always feel, do you guys ever have this? I am so paranoid. I always feel, always, at all times, like there is a booger in my eyes or nose. Don't know. It is, uh, you know, that t-shirt where it's one fear. That's me. I am, I am one fear. That's my fear. And also spiders and bees and heights and flying and underwater, and space. But other than that, one fear. One fear. Uh, Fire Whiskey's resub for five months in a row and said, so many peach streams in so little time. We are truly blessed. Thank you. I have been uh, working a lot. I've been working on a lot of really boring, boring projects and bullshit. And um, ironically, the more busy I am with that, the more I am wanting to stream lately because I'm I don't really have, like most of my friends that were from this area have left and all I really have are like a handful of friends from high school and Eli here left, so. <sighs> kind of a bummer. Um, so, you know, you guys are keeping me company. Uh, so thank you, I really appreciate it. Cause I'm, I'm a little bit lonesome. I'm in a farmhouse that is about 20 miles uh, from anything I don't want to say substantial, that's rude. Anything, um, lots of happenings and goings on. Uh-oh. Is the internet okay? Uh-oh. You guys can see me, right? Oh, good. It's okay? It didn't buffer, did it? 
Okay, I thought it did. I was concerned. So I, I just want to explain to you that I keep, I keep having to like get down here because uh, my laptop is on like a, what's the word? Like a lap thing. Cause otherwise you'd be like this much shorter. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna squat. Sorry, yeah, like a lap thing for laptops. So please excuse. Basil Barra resubbed for three months and said, OMG, what when three months happens? That's right. Ansel DeLambert resubbed mm, excuse me, for 33 months in a row. It's a double, double toil and smut plague of gripes. Smells like butt. Got him. Nailed it. He's a stinky man. King Wrangles resubbed for 30 months and said, can't wait to see a glass cake getting baked live on stream. I thought it might be funny to make like a cake with yellow icing or something, but I, I'm okay. I'm not a good baker. I'm not, I'm just going to tell you right now. I am not good at baking. I prefer cooking. Uh, cooking is more, or sorry, baking is more something Pat enjoys because it's like very precise. You know, I like cooking. I like just throwing shit and going, mm, 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 I don't know. Brr, mm, mm, love it. You know, cooking is more on the fly, I feel, or it's, you can kind of futz with it. Um, oh, did, uh, did the internet futz out? No, I, baby, I know how to bake. I'm just not very good at it. I don't, and I don't particularly enjoy it. Um, so wait, it did, it did do something. Oh, okay. I'm just anxious about it. There you go. I love cooking. There we go. Okay. Whether or not I'm good at it, hmm, debatable. Hungry guys, resubbed for 11 months and said mustard and McDonald's only cooking stream. What would you do if I was like, oh, excuse me, just whipping up some delicious food and then I did like one of these and like switched out before your eyes? <coughs> Like here it's ready and it's like in a McDonald's wrapper and I'm like, no, I did this. Would you believe it? I would love to do that. I wish I'd thought of that. But I didn't, I didn't want to pull. I didn't want to pull a uh, fast one on you. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. Steamed clams. Steamed hams. Steamed hams. Not steamed clams. Jeez. Steamed hams. Oh, uh, this is not an Ari sub for 19 months in a row and said, ma'am, this isn't a Wendy's. Cat cream puffs, 16, we sub for seven months, so don't have anything weird to say this time other than the reflection in the window scared me, thought someone was standing outside. It's fine. It's fine. If someone, is, here's the thing. If someone was standing outside, first of all, they'd have to like watch out because there's like a bunch of bees and like thorn bushes right there. So to be honest, if he's standing there, like kudos to you, friend, because I don't want to stand there. That's where bees and spiders live and a bunch of like rose bushes and that are thorny. I wouldn't stand there. So like, don't worry, it's, it's my reflection. And if it isn't, then sir and or madam friend, that's on you. I'm just... I'm just telling you. Mo Diggity subscribed and Snarksmith, thank you kindly. DR Croston donated two doll hairs and said, I am thinking about making a Mothman. Ooh, visual novel. Ignore the fact that I misspelled my own last name in my username. That's okay. My, my dad, my dad carries a bucket around. He's this weird 89 year old man who carries a bucket around and in the bucket, is a little like diary and on the front it says his name and both his first name and last name are misspelled and it's in his handwriting and it's like personal and confidential whatever and me and my mom looked at it my mom's like what the fuck's in there and I'm like I don't know and it's just scratch paper and <laughs> we looked at it and like this his bucket is his purse it's so cute I guess like five years ago, he like really needed like a bag and he 
Like, just he just was, like, looking around his shop, and he was like, yeah, whatever. And he just has this bucket, this, like, tiny little white bucket. And I'm like, I came home, and I'm like, why? What's happening with this bucket? And that's his, that's his purse. And you know what? I respect it. But, yeah, no, my dad misspelled his first and last name on his little diary in his purse, so don't feel bad. So weird. A window creeper. Ooh, donated five dollars and said, "I've been wondering where even are you? Did you rent a house while you're in the states or something?" Just don't answer if it's a safety risk. It is a safety risk. I shan't be answering that at this time. Uh, but I I appreciate it and don't worry, I'm fine. Like everything's cool. Uh, I'm just I was like, you know what? I want to cook. I cleaned in here. It looks fresh to death. Eli and I actually made. Um, we made ice cream. He made spaghetti and then he taught me how to make ice cream. I, oh, I love this kitchen. I haven't even shown you this part. It's so pretty. Um, it's really cute. I'm, I'm in a rented meth house. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. Um, buckets are forgetting to wow level 30 in three weeks. He made spaghetti. He's meeting all of my standards. I mean, yeah, he just, he just like came over and he's like, he came over and he's like, hold on. This is, this is how Eli, he just comes in. He unannounced, he just, and I'm like, hi Eli. And he's like, where should I put this? And I'm like, oh, I'm um, here. And he's like, I'm making spaghetti. And then he just kind of like sulked around and I was like, what's happening? Okay. And then he just made spaghetti and he's like here. And I was like, Thanks. Weird. But very sweet. Thank you, Eli. Even though you're not here because you're sleeping, asshole. Um, oh, my hair looks good. Thank you. It is so greasy. But thank you. I was going to try to wash it, but then it would have been gross and wet, and it would have stuck to my head. Uh, so thank you. I appreciate it. I will be tying it back once I actually start making something. Um... Because I don't feel like eating my own hair. Uh, Mella Brooks K.A. donated six doll hairs. Thank you. Good evening, Paige. Got my 5G installed yesterday, and I feel rough. Look forward to the cooking stream, even if I can't eat more than bread. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Also, um, yeah, no, my my second shot was rough. Uh, my night was, I had the textbook symptoms. It was, um, but I was fine by the next day. Uh, so hopefully you will be uh, up and at by tomorrow. Is Eli my brother? I shan't tell. I shall never tell. <laughs> Easy, greasy, beautiful cover grill. That's me. Did I have hallucinations? No, but I could hear my heartbeat a lot. Um, and I felt really heavy and it was very, very hot. I had a fever of 100, about 101. Um, but I anticipated all of that. So I took, I took an ice bath, which was awesome. And that really helped. Uh, but then I was also somehow cold at the same time, so I had a heating pad. Like, I was prepared. Um, so, yeah. I was I was very prepared for all of that business. I knew I was going to have some rough times, but it was okay. Reese Clark 97 subscribe. Thank you, dear. Fuck, it's for you. Reese up for nine months. Thank you. And said, this VTuber is so uncanny. It's weirding me out. I know. Whoa, it's me. Can you imagine? Jackson Dorb used 510 bits and said... Morph, this one's for you, Morph. Poor Morph, Jesus Christ. Cozy, 90, resub for two months and said, I I wish Pride of the X-Men actually become became a series. Anyway, great work as always. Uh, thank you. Uh, Sleep of Giants donated 666, hail Satan. Hell yes, bitch, don't burn the house down, love you. I love you as well. Um, I hope I won't burn the house down. That would be um, terrible on a variety of levels, but we'll be okay. I can do this, hopefully. Uh, Dink Gerald, subscribe, thank you, and used 500 bits. I've been on the road for seven months and have forgotten what home cooked tastes like. Please fill the cooking void in my trucker soul. Much respect. One of my friends is a trucker, and I feel you. Um, I will. Uh, I will try to do. Do you proud, my friend? Uh, Nocturne November. Okay, weird, weird. I was thinking about you today for some reason in my brain. Uh, when I saw you at MAGFest for the first time, went in my brain, I was like, I wonder how 
turns doing? So, um, hello, good to see you. Been a long, long time, four years, but I finally got a chance to sub again. Hope everything's been good with you. I really appreciate that. You, you know, d don't ever feel obligated. Um, it's certainly super nice and I really appreciate it, but don't ever feel obligated. You're always welcome here. It's free. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I, I don't know why my brain just thought of you today. Amani loves Dalmatians now. Donated $4. Paige, holy shit. And I'm reading about Cruella. Why has it got to be this way? I want a Dalmatian to just look like Dr. Claw now also. Hi. Hello. So, uh, I, me and Pat are actually going to watch Cruella after this. That's my, uh, Pat was like, if you stream tonight, I will watch Cruella. And I was like, fine. So, um... I'm really excited. It is a train wreck. But like a bunch of people like that I normally trust movie-wise are like, oh wow, it's so good. And I'm like, is it? Is it? Don't know. Here's the thing though, I'm the kind of person that loves cats. You know, like I just, I like scream laughed the entire movie. So if it's dog shit, it's better. If it were good, I'd be like, yeah, okay, it's good. But if it's bad, like I get goosebumps and I feel alive. <laughs> also, I have, uh, you know, I don't think, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have ever mentioned what dog uh, mauled my face when I was about nine, 10 years old. It was in fact a Dalmatian. I fucking hate Dalmatians. They scare the shit out of me. Um. A Dalmatian ripped my face with its mouth, and I was trapped in a car with it for about 10 minutes. It was extremely traumatic, and occasionally, uh, even still, I will wake up smelling that dog's breath, because it bit right here. And um, I'm normally not very close to the camera, but uh, and this camera sucks. But when you, uh, next time when I'm uh, back uh, in Canada with my like really good camera, um, I will try to show you. I have, um, it's here, here, and I think it's on this side. There's a hook scar right here. Oh, it's okay. Like, I mean, it, it was, it was traumatic, but like, I'm not like, don't ever talk about it. It's fine. It's, you know, um, that Dalmatian, I, look, I'm not, I, I think you should get whatever dog is right for your family. That dog was not treated well. Um, it was like sick all the time and they, the family that owned it really mistreated it. And I think that, that, that particular dog had some aggression issues and it was very, very sad. Um, and the name of the dog is actually the name of a very good friend of mine. So sometimes when I say, or, um, hear her name, I kind of like, oh, you know, which is no one's fault. Um, yeah, Dalmatians it's not, it's not a dog I would be like, yeah, that should be around my child. Um, but I was locked alone with this child, with this child, I was the child, with this dog in the back of um, my childhood best friend's mom's car. And it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. But, you yeah, know, it is what it is. But so, yeah, um, I actually... Before that happened, I loved Cruella DeVille. Like, the movie was like, meh, but I loved Cruella DeVille. And I actually dressed up as Cruella for Halloween, and my mom made my costume, and she sewed little toy Dalmatian dogs on uh, the bottom of my dress. So when I walked, it looked like the dogs were trying to attack me. It's, it's actually really cute. There's a picture. I'll have, to, I'll have to text her to send it to me. It's really cute. Um, anyway. But yeah, so I have a kind of an emotional thing with Dalmatians and I, but I also love Cruella. So I am excited for this tragedy. Um, oh, I'm still just babbling. I'm sorry. I'm still babbling. We'll, we'll, we'll get started. I keep looking up. I don't know why I do that. Pilgrims say what? Subscribe. Thank you. Waltz Queen resubbed for 15 months and said, I am taking my first step out of retail. It's at fuck o'clock in the morning, so I won't be able to catch you anymore, but He's me. Oh, here's me hoping everyone else can get better jobs. P.S. Please make butterscotch cinnamon pie. Uh, I wish that I could bake a decent pie. Um, 
I shan't be making that. I am not Toriel, unfortunately, but uh, I would like to make a pie sometime, but it would be probably not ever on stream because that I could, would probably burn the house down. JJ Cheeker resubbed for 53 months in a row and said, how do Peach, do you watch any YouTube chefs? I like Maddie Matheson, Brad Leone, and Claire Seffitz. Anyways, cheers to 53. I love Maddie Matheson. Love, 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 love him. Huge crush. Love. I mean, you know, he's a short, round man. Love. Love, love, love. Um, I love Gordon Ramsay, but that's, like, basic bitch stuff. No offense, not Gordon, but liking Gordon Ramsay. Is bit. Every, what I'm trying to say is everyone loves Gordon Ramsay. That's like saying I like the Beatles or Queen. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Maddie Madison. Uh, I used to watch... I used to watch... Bon Appetit until all that mess happened. Then I was like, mm, I like Brad. Uh, I love, um, what is it? Is it Epicurious? Where it has the home chef versus the pro chef versus the amateur chef. That fucking rules my world. I love it. And I like Frank. Frank, the professional chef, he's my favorite. The, the guy who like, he's like, I have to grow my own vegetables and I have to carve my own knife and whittle my own spoon. Love him. So are you actually cooking? Yes, the voice of cheese. I will be cooking. But see, um, I'm also very spiteful. And the more that you say that, the more I shan't cook. No, I'm kidding. I'm just being a bitch. Uh, yes, I will be cooking. But I also, I just want to talk. Look at, Jesus, really? Gross. Gross, it's getting everywhere. My instinct was of course to put my mouth on it. But I'm not doing that. No, not here. Nope. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I know, you're fine, cheese. You're fine. I'm just I'm just teasing. Uh ba -ba I tend to talk a lot. Please excuse me. We'll get to it soon. And Malik, for curious, subscribed for two months. Thank you so much, you guys. Much obliged to you. Um, okay, so I may or may not be stalling because I am really weirdly nervous. Um, I tend to... Um, cooking is kind of what I do when I'm, like, mindless and just kind of want to, like, listen to podcasts. Normally, I would be listening to some jazz or whatever um but unfortunately there's a lot of more music claims or whatever copyright claims and I don't want to get in trouble uh that would be not great so I'm not gonna be able to play any music so if I'm just awkwardly sitting here and just like you know chopping all creepy and it's quiet I'm really sorry like if you want I'll sing you a little ditty but that's kind of awkward that's probably worse um all right, so now that, uh, why am I so nervous? This is so stupid. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I'm an adult with dignity and respect. All right, so we have two th options. We have mom's meatloaf or clafoutis, the French dessert that is kind of a mix of a Dutch baby and flan. It's kind of custard or my mother's meatloaf that I have never, I don't, and she's asleep now, so I can't ask her for help. I could also make both. Um, so how about we do one for clafoutis, two for meatloaf. Put it in the chat if you would prefer clafoutis one meatloaf. Wait, shit, what did I say? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> One clefwitzi, two meatloaf. There we go. The, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. A lot of ones. Okay. I'll tell you what. We will make the clefwitzi first because it is so easy. And then if I am feeling, you know, fat and sassy, we can try my mother's meatloaf. Um, I, I am serious. I will probably cry. And not just because there's onions. <laughs> Uh, no, because I, um, I'm scared. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So without further ado, let's get what I need for the clefoutis. 
Club Food Seat calls for one and a half cup flour, one cup milk, one fourth cup sugar, two whole eggs, three tablespoons of butter melted, and a tablespoon of vanilla, and which is kind of, I've made it without the vanilla extract, and it's like, it's not that big of a deal, but I do prefer it. Uh, and 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Um, oh, don't be scary. Did I say something scary? Oh no, I don't understand. Did I say something scary? Oh, do you, do you always cry when you're scared? Oh, I understand. I'm, I'm such a loser. Um, when I get, when I get frustrated, I like, it's like I'm a sponge, like just my, like right here. And I'm just like, huh, and all the fear just like comes like out of me, just like, Bleh. um, so let's see. Okay. I can do this. I'm an adult. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, I really need to put like ADD in my tags so pe people know what to expect from me because I, I don't have my Adderall. Uh, and it's, oh, I need, no, tie my hair back, number one, because I'm about to be cooking. Actually, you know what? This is, this is all, ugh, I'm also out of my comfort zone. So, let me get my mom hair going, right? whatever. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Now I will. What do we do next class? What is the next first step that we do? We put back our hair and then what? Wash your hands. That's right. So, I will give them a quick scrub. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Perfect. Now I am clean. You sing happy birthday because you need to wash your hands for a certain amount of time. DMC, I took my channel down, right? Should I have done the, what they, whatever they sing at like Applebee's? Oh man. Okay. Right. So let me throw this away real quick because, eh, well, that's fine. Okay. So we're going to need one and a half cup of flower. I can do this. I am an adult with dignity and respect. Hmm. One and a half cup flour. Here's one cup. Here's a half cup. I will be oh no, what am I doing? All right, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get my no, that's not right. That's not what the hell? Oh god. Oh shit, hold on. Oh boy, I have everything out except, what? Oh goodness. What? Oh, ball sacks. I don't know where I put the flour. That's the only thing I don't have ready. Like behind you is like everything I could need. I don't know. This is going well. That's good. That's good. That's that's going well. I've seen the I've seen Hold on. I'll be right back. One moment, please. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I might go. I will do a quick googling. Yeah, I can't pat my way out of this one. Hold on. Uh, 
So I have bread flour, which is not obviously not all purpose flour. And there's not that much difference, but I don't know if it will turn out like it normally does. Am I Googling where the flour is? No, no. Okay, so the problem is I have access to flour, but it is bread flour. Um, yeah, blood, blood flour. Bread flour has more gluten in it, so I don't know how it's going to react with everything else. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's just, I don't know. Fuck it. We'll just see what happens. Who cares? It'll be fine. It will be fine. I can do it. I believe it's one and a half. need a bigger bowl than this. So I already put that in. Yeah, I need a bigger bowl already. Tits. Well, I'll put it in here. Good enough. Okay. So that is one and a half cup flour. You might just need some more water. Probably. Who knows? Fuck it. It'll be fine. I'm not worried. Um, one cup milk. I have some whole milk back here. Oof. I have some whole milk. Let's see, I need one cup. Wait, is that all? Oh, let me get the dry first. So that's a fourth cup sugar. Okay. Is, what do you mean is the milk still good? I just got it the other day. Um, let's see, you guys asked the craziest question. Why would I use bad milk? There we go. All right. One fourth cup sugar. Uh, okay, so that's the dry. And then we need one cup milk. Okay. Shoop. Lovely. And then two whole eggs, which I have some farm fresh eggs. Ta-da! Can you see them? They're beautiful. I know it's not bagged milk, but we'll just have to make do. Um, let's see, I need two whole eggs. So I'll put you here. You'll wait over there. Um, yeah. I have made this 100 million times. I don't know why this has to be so, like, in a tizzy. Okay. And three. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fucking butter. Um. Yeah, I have it over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course. There it is. It's hiding. Okay. But I don't remember where the measuring spoon is. I typically, when I do make this, I kind of just eye it with the butter because it kind of rises. Um, no need to be nervous, we're all on your side. Come on, come on, that's a knee slapper, come on. Uh, let's, oh, fucking, oh yeah, geez. Sorry, I'm so out of my element here. Okay. So, I mean, I need a bowl because now I'm going to melt the butter. And I kind of eyeball the butter. Oh, I, baby, I am going to melt it. <laughs> you guys go too quickly. I am going to melt it. There we go. That's usually what I use. And it kind of rises. Weird. 
I don't need to salt the butter. It is already salted. Guys, I, I know what I'm making. I appreciate it. Normal, although normally you wouldn't use like salted butter. I like it. And I'm just not that fussy. Fuck them. You know what I mean? Hmm? Oh, I can't see. Go. Is the oven preheated? No. Sure is it. Because I goofed it. Let's see. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. Put it to... We're going to go up to... 400. There we go. And there she goes. Okay. Well, I goofed that a little bit, but that's fine. Not a big to do. What do you, what's wrong with licking the tiny bit of butter spoon, bro? Come on. Yeah, I licked a little butter on the spoon. It's fine. I do look like I'm on a sitcom set. If you saw this whole thing, it's so cute. I love it. Um, so while that is warming up, butter is gross by itself. You're wrong. You're wrong. Um, what else am I missing? Flour, milk, sugar, eggs, butter, vanilla. So, here are extract. I'm just gonna put like the tiniest little bit in there because it's not that important to me. It's not that important to me. Now, here's the part that is important. I have, now, okay, clefouti is a French dessert. Normally, it is made with stone fruit, uh, classically with cherries. Um, I, mm, excuse me, I do not have access to cherries. Um, so I do have, what I normally, I use bananas. Um, you can use any fruit, doesn't matter, fuck it. Um, I have bananas, blueberries, and strawberries. What should I use? All of them? Blueberries. I'm seeing a lot of blueberries. Seeing a lot of blueberries, oh, but now I'm seeing a lot of bananas. What should I do? I've never used more than one fruit. What do blueberries taste like? Um, blueberries, they're nice. I mean, when they're cooked, I think they become more tart. Um, I'll go with the blueberries just because, I don't know. The bananas I have are not uh, the consistency that, um, or not the bananas, sorry, the bananas are not as ripe as I would like, as you can see. Like they're, they're close, but I like them a little bit spottier. Um, so, um, but since I'm going to move this so you can see what I'm doing a little better. Here we go. Okay. There we are. I know, very classy. So let's see. Um, I'm going to cut them up a little bit. Actually, no, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm getting distracted. I need a whisk. <laughs> what is happening? I need a whisk. I'm getting distracted. What is going on? I had a whisk. I thought I had one out. I mean, it's not that important. Oh, jeez. I had a whisk. Ugh. Um, well, if... Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just get a, I'll just get a fork. Yeah, I'll just get a fork. Fuck it. I'm just trying to be cool with my big whisk. Oh, wait, is it in here? Nope, of course not. Damn. Okay. So I'm going to whisk these together. Although I'm not happy. I would prefer, like, an actual whisk. This is making me very anxious. Oh, my God. I am not used to this kind of... What in the fuck? This is not what it should look like already. This is going to be wild. <laughs> I am not happy. I know I'm flowering the mouse. I know. I see it, guys. But I only have so much room. There we go. There we go. I know. It's fine. Oh, this is this is not the consistency I am used to seeing. It's making me very nervous. Um, well, it'll probably it's will be fine. It's too thick, I think. Um, but you know what? Fuck it, we'll see what happens. Have confidence, right? Hmm. It's very, it's very goopy. I'm not used to, it's, it's usually a little bit more, not watery. I don't want to say watery, but it's very... Well, it's a kind of flour I'm not used to using. So, I, yeah, I think it probably needs more butter, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it needs more butter. It always needs more butter, right? You can never have enough. Where did I put? Oh. This stream is nothing but, <laughs> this stream is nothing but me going, where is it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if this will help. I don't know if it will. Who fucking cares? Let's find out together. I mean, I have messed up where I put like a shit ton of butter and it ended up like being fine. It just rises to the top a bit. But who knows? Maybe I'll fuck it up. I don't know. It'll be an adventure. All right. Now, um... This is the closest thing I could find to the size of pan I normally use for this. So I'm gonna use it. Oh good, the oven is ready. So I'm gonna see if this fits, should. Yeah, that should be perfect. Okay, great. Now this is gonna rise a bit more than usual. Uh, so we'll see. Who knows? Maybe it will be a disaster. I don't know. Where did blueberries go? I will show you in a moment. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so here it is. Now, I'm probably just going to, like, give these a cut. Like, just like a little, like, doot. This knife is probably too big, but, and then I just kind of throw them on top like that. Like, whatever. Boop. Boop. Oh, yeah, this knife is pretty big, but there's, like, a fabulous huge knife over on that wall there. It's awesome. There we go. 
potato. Eh. Normally I use bananas and it's like so pretty, but I'm excited to see what this will look like. But yeah, you can use like any fruit, I guess. It's just traditionally, I know, tiny berries, huge knife, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. There we go. Eh. Yeah, I wish, I wish I could have like some cool jazz playing in the background here, but I am so anxious about getting like a DMCA thing. Listen, don't backseat cook me, y'all. <laughs> uh, oh, fine. See, I if I tear up the berries, then I get the juice all over my hands, and it, ugh, but yeah, I guess it'll be faster. What one on the right is crooked? A berry? <laughs> or the knife? <clears throat> Gotta do your cooking by the book. God, that show is incredible. I've noticed on TikTok people are rediscovering the backyard again, though. And that is that is a weird feeling. I used to watch that a lot with a kid I nannied way back in the day. Yeah, TikTok kind of discovered it, I guess. Or rediscovered it, which is great. I think it's awesome. It What a weird show. But I think it's awesome. People like shit on Gen Z a lot. I think they're cool. They're really nice. I don't know why people shit on young people so much. And dude, I liked Backyardigans. Unique with rules. <laughs> Young people scare me. <laughs> all right. So that's a lot of blue blueberries. But we can add more. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Again, like guys, I'm not some authority great cook. I just I just enjoy it. It's just relaxing. You've never babysat before. Oh, nannying and babysitting. It's fun. Big recommend. It's fun. Oh, what I'm making, it is clafoutzi. Uh, some people say it is like a mix between a, like a Dutch baby and flan. Make souffle next time? Yeah. There we go. Well, I told Eli I would make this for him, and he's like, whatever, I'm going to sleep. And I'm like, whatever, loser, missing out. So I like a lot of fruit in mine. Um, like, oops, that one was whole. Oh, well. Um, and again, it's normally, I think I read that it's normally made with cherries, and they leave it with the pit in, which I think is really interesting. Eh. go <laughs> next time can we get a rack of lamb well I was going to make roast a well not roast I was going to make a like a Greek lamb casserole type situation but nobody in this area carries lamb uh, which I thought was odd the butcher by the time I got to it though closed so that's a shame and it's Saturday so it won't be open till like Tuesday That's probably good. Whatever. We'll see what happens. So, now let me clean my hands. Eh. <sighs> yep. What do you guys think? Are you, ha are you having fun? Are you having a good time? <laughs> 
Sorry, this isn't exactly, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not fucking Gordon Ramsay over here, but I'm having fun. Mmm. Ah. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you are entertained. All right. So, now that the oven, did I put it, let me, hold on, let me make sure. 400 degrees, it is ready spaghetti. So, do I want it? Yeah, why not? I'll show you the side of the kitchen. Sorry, I know my, like, gross, weird mouse is here, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to move it. Like, this whole setup is extremely awkward. There we go. Move that there. Eh. Okay. Oh, Lord. God damn it. Eh. There we go. Okay. Come with me, if you will, to this oven. Welcome to oven. Eh. There we are. So, you know what? This is not an oven I am accustomed to, so just to be on the safe side. Um, yeah. There you go. See you later. Okay. Great. It is 10, 19. Let me make, so it's 10, sorry, it's 1020. So I'm going to 400 degrees for 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, so at, let's see, there. So in 30 minutes, it should be ready. And what it will do is it is going to rise to, it's going to rise and it's going to look like really weird. Um, it's going to look really weird and like it's going to explode. Uh, but it, it'll kind of like as soon as we take it out. So, but I will say that this is, um, this is bread flour. So I'm a little nervous. Uh, so we'll see. I am going to check on it a little before. Uh, 1050, if I remember. Let's see. We'll find out. Um, yo, okay. Let me tell you about Cocoa Wheat. Okay. Do you want to see? Uh, we're making a sort of Dutch baby, sort of, kind of, a little bit. I don't know. It's it's hard to... Okay. This is my favorite food on this earth. It is Cocoa Wheat. It's basically chocolate grits, is all it is. It is so fabulous. I love it. Very, 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 very very much. It is delicious. Cocoa wheat. It is super easy. You can make it in a microwave. You can make it uh, on the stove top. It's fabulous. And it looks, it looks like actual doo-doo. It looks like doo-doo. It is so good. Cannot, what is the sugar content? Zero. A big fat zero. You can add the sugar if you want, but that's up to you. So it is fantastic. You can add I like to add um, like milk and a little bit of butter and some sugar. It's fabulous, super, super yummy. You, you can add sugar. It even, it even tells you you can add sugar. It's great. So I can't recommend it enough. I can't find it anywhere except the Midwest and the South. Like nowhere will I find it. Yeah, if you have celiac disease, do not eat it, but it is fabulous. You can essentially recreate it making grits, put some cocoa powder in it, done deal. I make it, I used to make it all the time when I'm in Canada. Like, I remember I tried to make it for Pat super early in our relationship and he was just like, this looks like, it's good, but it looks like doo-doo. Also, put it on, the best way to eat it is as like, almost like it's oatmeal, but you, um, you make toast, put a little butter on the toast and then you like scoop it up with the toast, 
absolutely fabulous. Cannot tell you, uh, cannot give enough praise. So, as pathetic as it is, that is the dish I am more comfortable with. Um, for some, I'm just, this kitchen I am not as accustomed to as I am, say, my own. Um, things are in places I'm not used to. Uh, I had to use ingredients I wasn't accustomed to, but it's fine. Um, I'm also not used to this oven and that's making me nervous, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, well, I just heard a spooky noise. That's scary, but that's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Um, so we have a couple of choices. We can either make my mom's meatloaf or just wait for this to be done, call it a night, and maybe make the meatloaf tomorrow. Who knows? Although I do have, I am supposed to have dinner with a friend tomorrow, but it's Lincoln. It's Abe. Oh, it was just like a creepy noise. It's fine. You have to, so I am in a farmhouse circa like 1900. It's a, like, you know, I grew up in a farmhouse. Most of my friends have farmhouses. So I'm used to all of the, the creakies and the various noises that come with um, this kind of establishment. Um, you know, uh, it's just, you kind of have to get used to the noises per residence. Uh, like in mine, there's like, like four steps down the hall is like a and then the door to my brother's old room often swings open for no reason. It's like spooky, but it's fine. Um, so you just kind of memorize what kind of and what kind of goes boom, boom, boom. Every old house has a voice. That's right. That's a good way to put it. I like that. So profoundly haunted. No, but I will tell you the bedroom here is gorgeous. Love it. Um, has a lot of mirrors all over the wall, small and big. And like it really, in the daytime, it's like, wow, this room is so big. And at nighttime, it's like, wow, this room is so creepy. Woo. I can see everything all the time. Woo. Um, but it's, it's beautiful. I love it here. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, the older, the older any house gets, the, the stranger, the little noises can get, but I, I really enjoy it. You know, you're just learning the character of the house. Um, you know, so yeah, the oven is making me nervous, but, and the fact that I can't see into the oven, that's making me nervous, but you know, and the fact that I had to use bread flour, huh? so guess we'll find out. I don't know. Oven haunted. Wouldn't that be weird if I opened it up and it was Abe Lincoln, like, Boss God, I'm like, hmm. That would be my luck. Um, house noises always scare me because they sound expensive, right? Yeah, tell me about it. Can't you turn on the oven light? I think it's on. I, you know, I just, I try not to futz too much with electronics. I try, because Pat has, Pat and I have this thing where it's like, I was talking to Pat on the phone and every time I spoke to him, something would break. So he's like, I think it's you. So I'm hanging up and I'm like, okay. Uh, and then when I hung up, he called back. He's like, yeah, no, it's fine. So who knows? I'm haunted. I don't know if you know this. I am personally haunted. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I could make my mom's meatloaf now, um, have all the ingredients and they'll last me a few days and that might be fun to do. It also might be very nerve wracking. I will probably cry because like this is, this is easy, especially if I'm listening to like my podcast I like and I'm just do, 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 do. Like I don't think about it, but the fact that I'm thinking about it and showing you, it's like, right. But the meatloaf, whole new world. My mom likes very simple meatloaf, but even then, like I said earlier, one of the, hold on, what is it? Uh, two tea milk. 
tablespoon, teaspoon, who knows? But if I call her, she's asleep, you know, so I can't phone, phone a friend, as it were. Um, one or two teaspoon herbs. What herbs, mom? Just, you know, herbs. Herbs I got at TJ Maxx. Mom, I don't know. Um, and then, like, ketchup. I don't know. Who knows? It'll be an adventure. It'll be an adventure. Who knows? <sighs> so here's the thing. Yeah, normally a big T would be one thing and a little T would be another, but like, well, yeah, maybe it's a big T. Yeah, maybe it's a big T. You put barbecue sauce in your meatloaf? That sounds awesome. Yep, that's a family recipe. When you can't read it, you don't know what's happening. Yeah, this, so this is not my meatloaf. This is my mother's meatloaf. I will say it's very good. Um, also, this meatloaf is, she makes for my dad who has to have like very little sodium, like so little sodium. Like he's this cute 89 year old man, just boop with the sodium. So this is probably gonna need some help salt wise, but who knows? But I fucking love meatloaf. I love it. And I think Pat likes it too. Um, but I don't know how to make it, so I asked her to write it down. I guess we'll see. A sodium deficient loaf. It's true. Oh, geez. I am so nervous. I hope that, that turns out well. Uh, the oven I normally use is very weak, so I kind of have to like eye it. A little bit and open the oven which I don't like to do and I know you shouldn't but it makes me Jesus Christ that scared the shit out of me I don't know if you heard that um I am like kind of like 20 minutes from most things and um, just a, a truck randomly went down the road and it's like hello what are you doing here <laughs> uh, it was just a truck just meow, but it's fine. Bruh. Ketchup fixes all bad meatloaf. I'm just, look, my, my perspective is this. As long as it is edible, we can make it work. That's where I live. I want it to be delicious. I will do my best to make it delicious. But as long as it's cooked through and one could eat it and not get the shits, we're in. My... <laughs> Eli, so Eli made me spaghetti yesterday. Well, he made us spaghetti right here. And the whole time I was like, oh, hey, this is good. And I'm eating it. And I'm like, this better not make me shit my pants. <laughs> not that like, not that he's a bad cook. I just, I've never eaten anything that Eli's made. So I was like, cause sometimes like I have a relative who everything she makes, you're going to shit your ass. You're going to have, you're going to have some doo-doo issues and everyone will know. So no one eats that when she comes to the family reunion potlucky type situations. It's like, oh, and you made this aunt, whatever, cool. <coughs> yeah, mm, definitely had some. Thank you for this plate as you quietly and as discreetly as possible, like just knife it into the trash or like it's so bad that you can't even give it to your poor fucking dog because your dog will shit, your, shit its ass. And everyone's got that aunt or uncle who makes like not good stuff that that will hurt your guts. Mm mm mm. I oh my dad did the weirdest thing. He he brought home this like potato salad, and my my mom gave it to me, and I'm like, oh yum yum, I like potato salad, and I'm eating it, and I'm like, this tastes a little like fizzy. I don't think I should be eating this. And and then my dad's like, well, well, it's fine. We found it on the, oh God, what did he say? We found it on the front porch of Smithies. That's not his real name, but my dad calls all of his like friends by their last names. And I'm like, you found it on the porch. And he's, well, okay, so what really happened, my mom was like, okay, here's what happened. They delivered this food to this man's house 
And they opened it immediately and were like, oh, um, we didn't order this. They And they were like, oh, well, we can't take it back because of health reasons. And so immediately my dad came over and it took like five minutes. And so they put it on the porch and it was in like an ice pack or something. But still, principle of the thing, icky pooey, don't want it. And I was like, mm, thank you. Just like, yeah, no, thank you, dad. Love you. Not interested in um, shitting the bed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that poor sweet man. Um, yeah, yeah. It gave me flashbacks to the potato salad in which I ate mold. And then I had like so many people tweeting at me being like, how could you eat your dog? And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? What Twitter just... I had so many people because I, I made like a joke about like, I don't know. And, and it kind of looked like a little bit like it looked like a tiny puppy face, but it's like my dog is Zangief and it's like, come on. I did not. It's clearly mold. Come on. Did it give me powers? Uh, no, I did not acquire any powers, unfortunately. But people, yeah, people thought I ate my dog and then, and then put it in a potato salad. I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. According to Wooly and his rule on cheesecakes, expiration dates are a suggestion. I was in uh, the room when Wooly, God, this is like seven years, six, 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 seven years ago. And oh, let me check the time. Okay, we're good. Um, and I'm sitting there and like we had had the cheesecake, I think the day or the two days before. And this cheesecake had been out like all night. I was like, oh, oopsies. And he's just like eating it. And I was like, sir? And he's like, mmm, so good. And I remember me and Pat were like grabbing each other like, Oh my God, what do we do? And we were like, stop eating it. And he was like, no, mm, delicious. I don't, listen, I am not responsible. You know, bless him. Bless him. Oh, that was funny. Iron stomach. Listen, some people can do that and you know, bless them. They can do that. I mean, he had access to fresh cheesecake, I'm pretty sure. That's why I was so baffled. I was like, what? I mean, don't get me wrong. I like, I'm not shitting on Wooly for this because I, I like things that are like room temperature. I understand. I'm, you know, but like, that's too much. Huh. I mean, look, if he, you know, He's a braver man than I. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I like room temperature. Yeah, no, I like room temperature stuff too. I like room temperature water. I don't like my water too cold. Um, just don't like it. Oh, is this a floor length dress? Um, yeah, well, almost. It's like, it's like ankle. But yeah, it's a cute little, cute little number. But I actually own three of this dress. One with yellow flowers and one with red. And then um, I have two others that are similar. But this one cuts me off here, which kind of makes me look a little boxy, but it's the style. And then the other one, it kind of cuts me off more at my natural waist. Um, so I've, I've got like five, six dresses in this like style. I, I like to highlight how wide my shoulders are because then it makes my waist look tiny and cute. So, yeah, I like it. Thanks. I like it. I love Pat, Paige, and Wooly, but I won't take food advice from them. Listen, I think you should eat whatever you think is safe. Um, I, I like luke not lukewarm, that's weird. I like room temperature water. <laughs> that's fine. You know, if it's clean and fresh, that's cool. Uh, I will drink uh, room temperature soda. That doesn't bother me. I won't eat anything that has been out of anywhere for too long. Like, 
Like, I mean, I, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, they didn't know what, wait, Pat and Willie didn't know what Nutter Butter was and were grossed out by it. I don't trust their food opinions. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> How could they not know? Oh gosh, uh, hold on. Still mad about, wait, peanut butter. What, what happened with the peanut butter? Oh, were they talking about like crunchy versus smooth? Because I can tell you all about that. I can help you. Because crunchy peanut butter is for bad people. Because Scrooge McDuck fed me crunchy peanut butter sandwich and it turned out to be bees in a dream. And I'll never get over it. I'm just telling you. I'll never get over it. I tell the story all, so often. So I had a dream one time that I uh, was in my backyard as a small child and Scrooge McDuck was there and he's like, oh, hey, lassie or whatever the fuck, would you like this peanut butter sandwich? And I was like, hell yeah, Scrooge McDuck. I'm seven. I would love a sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. And I ate the sandwich and I took a bite out of it and it was crunchy peanut butter or my brain registered it as crunchy peanut butter. And then I looked at it and bees were flying out of it. And he's like, ha it's bees. And then just bees. And I woke up and I was like, oh, bees. And I don't like bees and I don't like crunchy peanut butter. And I still love Scrooge McDuck, but I don't trust him. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway. Hold on, what? You just got here. What is Paige talking about? I'm talking about Scrooge McDuck giving me a crappy sandwich and bees were inside of it. And that's why I don't eat crunchy peanut butter. Listen, it could, it could, the story could not be more clear. <laughs> oh, God. I always, I always remember there was, there's like three dreams I would have like kind of recurring what about Scrooge McDuck voice by David Tennant? No, this was like original Scrooge McDuck voice, original Scrooge McDuck face, like the OG. It was Lincoln's ghost in disguise. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I hope it wasn't Lincoln. Can't handle him right now. That oven is making me so nervous. I almost want to open up and check, but I know you shouldn't do that. Oh, thank you, Commander Claw. Appreciate it. TTC lover, next bit. What, what? I'm just standing here. You want a next bit from that? Okay, hold on. Eh? <laughs> Think about that. Oh, have I ever eaten bugs? Um, I've had like chocolate ants or something. Um, and like, I don't think I realized it at the time, but I've always wanted like, oh, intentionally, um, no, 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 would I? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I would. I mean, if, as long as it was clean, um, I love Tech, I mean, you know, I like, you know, insects of the sea. Like, I love prawns, crawfish. Um, Eli and I went to a fabulous, uh, like, fish fry Cajun kind of place um, not long ago, and it was fabulous. And I've been craving uh, crawfish ever since. So, like, I guess in that respect, but that doesn't really count. Um, actually, I have to pee. Give me one second and I will be right back. I'm going to put you on the intro because I was foolish and did not uh, supply myself with my normal BRB. So this is just a BRB screen. I apologize. I'll be back in like three minutes. Sorry. <laughs>
Ahoy. Can you see me? Wah, 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 wah. Hello today. Excellent. Okay, great. Ah. So I do have the ingredients to make the meatloaf, but I'm actually kind of tired. I realized this wasn't like the most cooking of streams because I spent most of it babbling. But what, what would you think if I did meatloaf tomorrow or the next day and forced Eli to help me? What do you think? Okay, cool. I mean, we're, I'm not like ending the stream right now. I'm still waiting on that, but. Oh, you guys want some blueberries? Blueberry? Say ah. Boop. There you go. <laughs> right in your eye. <laughs> That was somebody's fetish. Somebody like, I like, was talking to Pat and I was like, should I wear this dress? Like, what if someone beats off to my shoulders? Then it's unbeat offable. Or no, then my stream is beat offable. And we can't have that. Are you dig my housewife gear? Hell yeah. Oh, hold on. Existing is someone's fetish. You can't avoid it. Tell me about it, Stry. It's fine. I'm not here to kink shame. I'm here to kink blame. I don't know where that was going. Um, but yeah. So, I will read to you. Well, how are we doing on time? Okay, we've got four minutes. I would like to read to you my mother's meatloaf. This is what I've got. Ready, set? Mom's meatloaf, she wrote. 1 to 1.5 pound ground beef. Which I believe actually reads ground beef, but it's hard to see. Ground onion. Doesn't say how much, just onion. So I bought like four Vidalia onion because I was going to chop up some veggies and just roast them. Um, doesn't say how many, so I don't know. Who knows? One to two cloves garlic pressed. I don't think I have a presser here, so I'm probably going to have to dice them. Um, an egg. I can do that. One tea milk, which I believe is a tablespoon. One cup breadcrumbs, plain or Italian, which I do have. I almost got some, like some panko, but I decided not to. One or two teaspoon herbs. Who knows what kind? Just herbs. Just throw whatever in there. And one fourth, two cup or more ketchup. Spray loaf pan, 350 to 375 onion, or sorry, oven. After 45 minutes, pour off fat, bake another 15 minutes. So I don't know. I don't know. She said it's just some things she got at TJ Maxx. I don't. Yeah, did you enjoy my poem? It reminds me of that. Oh, God. Is it called, like William Carl, William Carlos Williams? Do you know the poem where it's like, hey, sorry I ate your plums. I know you were saving them for breakfast, but they were so cold and sweet or whatever. That's what this is. You guys know that poem, right? Am I crazy? I mean, it's not supposed to be the lowest sodium ever. Yeah, they were delicious and oh so cold or whatever. Yeah. I was thinking about that poem the other day. Hmm. We know the poem. Also, you are crazy. Can't, can't dispute you. I can't do it. Um... I don't think, is that a, that's not a Robert Frost poem. Is that? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, you like the cooking stream, Bobby? Thank you. I don't know if this one's super cool. You know who does a mean, badass, 
cooking like stream, and I wish I could do anything half as cool. Uh, Jenna Lynn Meowry, who oh, oh, I just almost remember, just put that back. Um, I'm so cool. Um, you should you should check out Jenna Lynn Meowry. She is so awesome. Oh, she's so funny and smart and beautiful, but also really entertaining and uh. Like, I've learned quite a few things watching her cook, so I definitely, definitely recommend uh, watching her do a cooking stream. It is fabulous. And she plays jazz and is beautiful, so you should watch her. Okay, so we're going to see how this turned out. We're going to find out how badly I have fucked this up. Are you ready? Let's find out. I'm, I'm so nervous. Where did I put the... Oh, Jesus. Where did... Oh, there it is. Okay. There you are, my dear. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Look at that. Hold on. Let me grab this mitt so you can see what's happening. Ta-da! Yay! So, ta-da! It has risen a bit. Normally, I've seen it rise, like, really, really high, um, but that isn't so bad. I am wondering what it will be like. So, it's supposed to have, hold on, I will grab you in one moment. It's supposed to have somewhat of a custardy consistency. Like I said earlier, it's supposed to, um, it's supposed there we go. It's supposed to have the there we go. It's supposed to have the um, consistency of like a cross between a Dutch baby and uh, flan. So it's supposed to have like a nice custardy consistency. So I'm gonna let it rest for a moment here, and then I will take a big old bite. So. Oh, yeah, turn off the oven. My bad. Oh, I'm so distracted. There we go. Perf. So, uh, normally, uh, I would serve this to Pat, as is. Um, he also occasionally likes to add, like, if it's cold or whatever, like, I let it sit and he's, like, busy, he'll come back and it'll be cold and he'll put some, he'll put some maple syrup on it and it's great. You know, it's awesome. Um, look how pretty. Can you see? Hold on, I'm gonna hold this here. Cause I can't. Yeah. Is that so pretty? Look at that. I'm nervous though because it we used um bread flour. So I'm wondering if that will affect the consistency, but we will find out. We will find out. Uh, so it shouldn't have a soggy bottom. Haha, <laughs> it shouldn't. Um, again, like it should have kind of a custardy inside. So let us find out in a moment. But first I will have a beer. There we are. It might be chewy. It's going to be good though. I'm not worried. So again, I'm, I'm not good at baking. It makes me very nervous. I don't like how precise you need to be with most things. Um, so something that's a little different than how I make it, usually the butter will rise to the top and will kind of, and then it will like soak back in when it rests, um, making it nice and moist. I did not see it this time, so that makes me a little nervous. I keep saying how nervous I am, who knows? Who knows? Let me grab a spoon and we will find out. Because I'm probably going to be the only person who will be indulging in this. Unless Eli comes by, but it's way too late. Let's see. Oh. Uh-oh. This is going to be weird. Okay, I think I basically fucked up and made, like, bread. <laughs> this is so silly. So let me get to where 
you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So, okay, can you hear this? That's not what I want. Um, again, it was supposed to have, <laughs> it was supposed to have a different consistency. So let's find out, shall we? Oh, yeah, that's bread. That's basically bread. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's what I get. <laughs> It'll probably still be good. Looks like, I mean, it just looks like a giant muffin. Like, it looks like, hold on. Can you see the consistency? It's like cakey. Which is fine. Um... Oh, why did I do that? Did you see that? I need Jesus. All right. Well, my hand's fine, but don't do that. I am so dumb. Okay. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna have this on for protection. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I have done is pretty good. That's actually pretty good. It is not what I meant to do, but actually I made a cake. That's cake right there, which makes sense because the person who normally cooks in here makes a lot of cake. So... Uh, so I basically made myself a little blueberry cake. Yeah, look, you want a bite? Ready? Here comes the plane. Oh, there you go. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Is it weird that I really enjoy doing that? See, I, I really like cooking for people. I'm not used to anyone seeing me cook, but I like cooking for people. Um... So the idea that I'm doing that makes me feel like, yes, cool. Hmm, that's pretty good. That's not bad. It's not what I meant to do. But I'm happy with it. Happy accidents. Happy accidents, y'all. We did it. I have made an edible meal. Wow, that is it's actually pretty good. Hmm. I'm kind of kind of glad I used blueberry. Mistakes into miracles. It's like that time Shrek had a sonic baby. That's what's happening right here. Oh. So I guess, I mean, it's kind of like a, has the consistency of a, of a cake. Honestly, hmm. I wonder if because it's bread flour, if it, I wonder if you need more sugar with bread flour. You know what I mean? Cause like, I don't know. I don't know the science. So that's, uh, that's why I don't like baking. Baking is more of a science. Cooking is more Well, the recipe, the recipe calls for essentially um, all-purpose flour, and this, all I had available to me was bread flour. Um, I mean, it is good. I'm happy with it, but I'm a little bummed because, sorry, I love that custardy, like, just beautiful thing that I've that I do when I make normal uh, clefutsi. So this is not clefutsi. I fucked up, but yeah, that's good. I can definitely use it, but it's like a, it's like a cake. I guess it's a muffin. Muffin. Oh my God. Muffins are cakes. I made a fucking cake muffin, which is redundant because the can't 
deal with this. It's a muffin. We did it. We have scientifically proven muffins. Okay. This is, look at, look at this. Okay. Sorry. There's a little thing hanging on. Look at that. That is, that's a muffin. Uh, hold on. Look at this fucking bullshit. Hold on. Is this, okay. Do you see how it has the consistency of like the inside of a muffin? It tastes like a fucking blueberry muffin y'all. Okay. I'm just telling you. Muffins or cakes. I'm just here to tell you. I'm here. I'm educating you. Patrick, I did not make Club Booty. I fucked up. However, what I did make was evidence that muffins are cakes. I made a cake by accident that's just, it's a muffin. It's just a giant muffin, Patrick. And then I burned my hand, but it's fine. Like, oh, it's a little red. Cause like, Patrick, Patrick, what happened? The, my, my problem was I didn't have access to all purpose flour. I only had bread flour, so. But I didn't burn anything down, huh? Thanks to me being awesome and cool. So now the question is, what time is it? Oh, Jesus, okay, it's late. Um, I'm trying, oh, trying to decide if I wanna make a meatloaf or if I wanna just like roast some vegetables and just eat those. I think, I think what I will do, because I haven't been streaming that long. Oh, oh, not entertaining enough for you, Patrick. Okay, bye, ass. Bye, honey. Um, I asked him, I was like, are you going to watch me stream? And he's like, I watch you cook all the fucking time, bitch. I'm going to play games with my friends. And I was like, okay, bye. Oh, oh it's been an hour. Um, but I, you know, I hate to like come in here and be like, look, eh, I cooked. Okay, bye. Like that's asshole thing to do. So maybe I, and I'm hungry and I don't really feel, so here's something about me. Maybe you're like this too. Eli, uh, you're awake. You can come over and eat my, no, <laughs> I was going to say, come over and eat my muffin. No, that's gross. Eli, come over and eat this cake. Uh, I made it. I made this. Eat it. Eat this. Eat my cake. Eat this cake I made. Uh, please. It's good. And I'm gonna make roast vegetables. Eli. Come over. <laughs> it looks like a cobbler. No, okay, so Eli, here's what happened. Ready, set? I did everything right because I'm great. However, I only had access to bread flour um, instead of all purpose flour, and it's it's just it became more dense. Um, and it's not as uh, flan-like as I normally make. So it's not like what I thought I was making. I made a cake. I accidentally made a cake. Pathetic, huh? Yeah, but it, okay, well, fine then. Have fun with your no internet. Rude. Can't have any of my perfect internet. I'm trying to, can't, <laughs> Eli, bring me all Burba's flour, uh, please, okay, Eli, how about this, Eli, when you come over next, can we stream and you make, uh, you make meatloaf with me? It died during our DBD match. Yeah, it was like 3.30 in the morning. It's perfect now. You don't have any. I have some internet. 
Okay, it's not perfect, but at least I can Google things unlike someone, aka you, rude. Come over and eat this cake. -a. Eat this cake. And I'm going to roast vegetables. Do you guys want some roast vegetables? I have tomato, potato, and onions. I normally, I make, um, I like to roast Brussels sprouts as well, but unfortunately, uh, the Lord had different plans and there were no Brussels sprouts at the grocery store. Weird. Um, oh, my belly. I need to eat. But, so here's something about me. I actually don't like sweet things that much. So like, when I eat sweet things, I can only have very small portions. Like this is something I make for Pat, not really for myself um, or for, you know, others. So I was hoping you know, I would come here and eat this because I know he likes fruity bullshit, but I don't. I, like, I mean, it's good. It's just, it's not something I seek. I know I like salty, sour, you know, whatever. Are fruits real? Fruit is real. Vegetables technically don't exist. Spooky, spooky. Listen, I may eat straight sugar, and that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Eli, are you coming over or not? Uh, tell me. Eh. Eh. Tell me. What about medicinal food? What do you mean? How am I with spicy foods? I really, I went through a period of time where like I couldn't eat spicy foods and then I just slowly started building a tolerance and now I can actually do fairly well. Um, but also like simultaneously very well and also not. She like my boxing gloves. How is Paige with edibles? Um, I don't eat vetable, vetables, you know, vetables. Um, there we go. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Uh, I do take oil though, uh, medicinally pretty much. Uh, so no, I mean not in the last like few weeks, I haven't touched the stuff. Um, and I only really do it like once a week. I skip a lot of weeks. I don't know. Everyone now, if I'm like kind of silly, people are like, oh, she's high. And I'm like, I should have never said that I indulge. But also, like, whatever. Um, admitting to a crime? What? It's... It's legal. Yes, the oven is off. People thought you were high before you admitted to weed. I know. People people have like been like Paige is drunk, Paige is high, Paige is faking it. To which I say I am absolutely anytime I've ever made like a mistake or a fool out of myself on stream. Um, it's definitely a ruse. You've caught me. I'm absolutely really smart and cool and good at things. I'm super awesome. I'm talented. Shut up. You know, stuff. I'm built different. <clears throat> Is the oven at 420 degrees? <laughs> Uh, I can't decide. I think I'll, oh. Oh, taking those off. I think I will, um, no, that's not safe yet. Oh my god, thank you, Shoujo a go, go Thank you for reading, I appreciate it. That's so nice, thank you. Um, just trying to decide what I want to do now. I mean, Oh, did I pick dandelions for the stream? 
No. No. Um, I don't think that I would... I mean, uh, I don't think I would ever actually forage unless I went with someone who was very experienced foraging. Like, even if it's something as whatever as clover dandelion, I just... I wouldn't do that by myself. Like, just because, like, I read it in a book, I would go with someone... Um, you know, experienced and does it. I have a friend who, um, who does it quite often. So maybe I can ask them if they'll come with me. I know my, um, looking for morals is cool. Um, uh, my, one of my dad's friends finds mushrooms all the time, but he's very experienced. Um, Eli, are you coming over or not? Because if you are, I will make extra. But if you're not, fuck you. <laughs> so let me know. Yo, okay, can, can I also talk about what's going on in Australia? Have you seen the, the, the mice? Pat sent me um, a video of this, like, Australia's overrun by mice. Is, is that what's happening? I had no idea. It's really bad. Oh, this is the first time I've seen you standing up. Where does Pat come up to you? Like your shoulder, your belly button? No, he comes up to... Like, here? I think? Yeah, he's like, here? Maybe? Um, he's only like two inches shorter than me. I'm 5'4", he is 5'2". I am also short. But I have a very long torso, so, like, <laughs> palm height. Uh, I have a very long torso, so I appear very tall. Rats can't swim. How do they get to Australia? Via a boat. They ride little tiny rat boats. You guys know this. Mm. Hey, Fetch, how's it going? I wish I was like Lady B compared to Pat. I'd rule, but you know, that's fine. Oh, I'm tired. I guess Eli left, huh? Did you leave? No, he is still here. Eli, are you coming over or not? Uh, tell me now. I must know. I demand, I demand... A response. Oh. Does Pat not like REA? I think he liked it quite a bit. Oh, shoot. Pat has a very long torso as well. Uh, when he sits down, say, like, next to Wooly, it almost looks like they're the same height if they're not both, like, leaning back. But when they stand up, Wooly has normal people legs. <laughs> Whereas Pat, like me, we have very short legs. Um, fine, Eli. Uh, I understand. Um, so I have, I have very short legs, but I dress uh, in a way that makes it appear otherwise. Because if I don't, I look very weird. You know how in Dead by Daylight, the characters all have really long torsos and kind of the proportions are kind of strange? That's what I actually look like. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish my ass was as awesome as Kate's, though, but a lot of people think my legs are long. They are not. I have a swimmer body, which some people think is like long and lean, but not necessarily. I have very wide shoulders, big feet, and um, torso, and then like little legs, but the kick. Jesus also had a swimmer's bod. Thank you. It's true. So Eli is not coming over because he sucks and is smelly, doo-doo man. Um, but maybe Eli, maybe tomorrow or something, you can... Uh, come over and help me with meatloaf or something. It'll be fun. Or at least just, like, make make sassy comments at me so I'm not so alone. 
Because right now I'm just sitting here talking to a light, you know, which I love doing. Love you guys. But I, I worry that I'm not providing you with, you know, I want to make sure you're entertained and, you know, cozy. Is that all we are to you? Yes, the light of my life. Huh? You like that? See what? Yeah? That's why the ladies love me. Yeah? Mm hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, it's like I want to keep streaming, but I'm really tired. I'm kind of cranky. Um, yeah, no, I had I had someone. Sorry. Bro. Sorry. I had someone, like, look at it. It's not as bad as I expected. It's not great. I do need a new computer. Um, I do not want to have to get one right now. I do not wish to get one right now. But it looks like... Oh, I just spit everywhere. It looks like I'll have to. But that's fine. It's really interesting watching myself on camera. I move a lot. Hmm. Very fidgety. Hmm. Like, like I've been using this one for five years. That I think you guys got me. Um, and it's great and it's awesome, uh, but it is starting to bubble. So, oh, off topic, it was starting to bother you. Yeah, eh, I'm antsy. I just, this is weird for me, um, because, like, my back normally hurts really bad. It's actually doing pretty well right now, but my feet are hurting, and I'm also, like, out of my comfort zone, because normally I sit down. So, yeah, it happens. Um, let's see. Ba -ba -da -da. Cooking chair. There is a stool over here that in case, like, I started to get, like, some shooty pains, but so far I'm okay. Just my foot on my right side is hurting. That's why I'm kind of shifting and leaning. Um, should I do a little dance for y'all? Like, but that, but the, all right. I, I'm starting to lose my mind. I should probably go. Um, so what exactly happened to my back? Uh, my back is better. So I have, they did like some tests and like some images and it looks like I have like two herniated discs, like one right after the other. Um, and they were just like, because I sneezed one time and it took months to, um, kind of, they're not healed, but, um, oh yeah, Eli, don't let me forget. Yeah. It took like, um, months of just like laying around a lot and my fabulous, very, very ridiculously expensive chair, uh, sitting in that has really helped. Um, I made sure that I'm sleeping in, um, very supportive beds that's really helping. I do some stretches. It's not perfect. Um, I still, like, Eli can attest to this. I'll walk around, like, sometimes. Um, just because, like, I'll be sitting down for too long. Standing is actually better. But, like, I'll just kind of... But it's not nearly like it was. Um, and, and every time I sneeze, I always brace myself because I'm so nervous that it's just going to go... And then I'm back on the floor, unable to pee. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, I was um, not feeling well back in October and I was just, I was hobbling. I'm like, what is going on with my back? This is so weird. And like all of last year was rough on my back. May, I, May I stopped being able to walk for like a week, but then it was fine and it would go on and off. But October, I sneezed on the floor, crying in anguish. Um, and then... Um, like, I, Pat had to carry me, and I would scream because he would carry me in a way that would hurt me, and it wasn't his fault. But then uh, it got to the point where I had him carry me to the toilet, and I sat on the toilet, and I could not pee. Like, it, I couldn't do anything. Like, nothing. 
And we got like really nervous about it. So we we're like, well, we'll wait. And we waited and waited and waited and waited. And I could feel that I really needed to pee. And I was like, I needed to pee. It, it wouldn't come out. And I started to like, so we called a nurse and the nurse was like, yeah, you need to go in. And so poor, oh, it was night. Oh, it was a nightmare. Have I talked about this? It was really bad. Um, so the height of COVID, it's October 2020. Pat and I have barely left the threshold. Well, except to walk the dog, of course. Uh, we don't really leave the threshold of the house very often. And we, he, he's like, I'm calling 911. And I was begging him not to. Don't do it. Uh, and he did. Thank God. He made the right call. And they came into the house. I mean, they asked us a lot of COVID-related questions first. And they were really careful and they were really awesome. The um, EMTs. Yeah, uh, they were great. They were so awesome. Um, there we go. Uh, they were so awesome to um, the way they just did everything. I was on the bed and I was like, help me, help me, help me, you know, and she's like, okay. And like, I was trying to be like chill. Cause like, I was also like, if I didn't move, I could be like, oh yeah, no, it feels fine. And like, we were making jokes and I'm like, okay, I'm just letting you know, when you pick me up, it's going to be real bad for you because I'm going to yell and, I'm, and I just want to apologize in advance and um she was like uh oh sorry um and she was like oh yeah no, I get it and then like she like helped me up a little bit and I was like I shrieked because I put weight on my you know my spine didn't know this at the time Whew. I, when I, so I, I completely understand when people think I'm full of shit when I talk about this stuff, but I have like medical records and people around me who are like, yeah, no, that shit's real. Um, it hurt more kind. Well, yeah, eh, yeah. It hurt more than the pain I had when I had encephalitis and meningitis at the same time when I was 17, it was like, I imagine childbirth will be like that. It was crazy. Um, why would you lie about that? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes people will be like, well, Paige, I don't know. Hmm. And I'm like, yeah, this is really giving me a lot of, ooh, the sweet attention somehow. I don't know. Like, I'm just telling you what happened. I don't know. Um, it's fine. People who talk like that, it's like, does anything happen to you? Because if so, that's awesome. But things happen to other people. Um, sorry, I'm chewing with my mouth open. I'm sorry. I know. The, can you, like, guys, I have so much clout from all of my copious injuries and illnesses. I am, I am so cool and my dick is so big because I'm terribly unlucky in the health department. I did it. So strange. Um, hmm? Oh, if you didn't have these problems, you would be able to stream more regularly and would have more attention. Yeah. It's weird. Because like, I don't stream that often. But people are like, oh, you want attention so bad. And I'm like, wouldn't I stream more? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I apologize. I'm chewing and it's very loud in my ear. So I hope fatal penguin. You missed the old periscope days, dude. I love seeing your username. Cause it just sends me back, sends me back in time. It's good stuff. If only Paige streamed more often, who would recommend such a thing? Shut up. Eli's a doo-doo man. Speaking of Eli being a doo-doo man, please hold. I will return in one moment. cream but I think I don't know if this was the right container to put it in Ooh. Yeah. we made ice cream
screen together. Look. Can you see? Pretty good, huh? Let's see. It is hard as a rock, Eli. Look at that. It is strawberry. <laughs> um, it's a little freezer burnt maybe, but it's fine, whatever. So Eli and I made homemade uh, strawberry ice cream and it was super good. But Eli was an a-hole and told everyone that I didn't, don't eat directly from container. What, I wasn't eating directly from the container. No, uh, Eli told everyone that he did most of the work and that's not true. Let me show you what Eli did. Please hold. Eli took like, he took a pan and this, so we're talking and he's like explaining how it all works because, um, you know, I, I've never made ice cream before. So here's Eli, right? He's like, yeah, and then you do this. And, the, and I'm like, did you just smack your ass with the, with this cup thing? Did you just smack your butt with this? And he was like, which by the way, don't worry, I'm watching everything. Um, and he was like, what? No. And then he like did it again, but like on his buttocks. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, like he wasn't doing it to be funny either. Like he was just doing it. And he's like, well, you got to make the dust go away. And I'm sitting there and I'm. Like, I'm going to Twitter with this. I, I can't handle this. And then he goes on Twitter and tries to act like, oh, I was doing something perfectly normal and she's the crazy one. You are an asshole. Her amazing story about how I knocked a particle out of a pot once. Yeah, but like, okay, it, here, here's what you could do. Ready, set? Or, oh. Or, ooh, let me rinse this. That's what a normal person would do. I don't know why you'd spank your butt. Unless you're pansexual. Huh? Oop, I almost knocked that over. That's fine. <laughs> I'm still cheeky. Cheeky? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What do you think? <laughs> I'm having a ball over here. Uh, no, but seriously, uh, who does that? Who just, uh, I mean, I do, <laughs> don't cut my mic. No, but you, you can't, you can't just do this stupid bullshit and then act like it's fine. Cause then when I do stupid bullshit, everyone calls me out and is like, you're crazy. And I'm like, no, it's fine though. You also deserve to be shamed. <laughs> so, oh, uh, I, no. I'm, you know what? I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that story in here for later, Eli. Because you're rude and mean. And I'm going to stretch this out. Because you're rude and, and, and hurtful to me. Yeah, he, yeah. Oh, a single dust. There was not a single dust. You can't see a single dust in the pot. You could do, you could do anything instead of spanking your ass. With it's not it's not even like the pot was upside down. It was like on your on your side. What the hell did you say, you bastard? Your dirty laundry could use some work. Oh. I was like, what does he mean? I just did my laundry. I was like, why is Eli going through my dirty laundry? One time he moved slightly weird, I think. This is Eli. Ready, set. I Oh, I actually told that story earlier, Eli, because you walked in with uh, the spaghetti and you walked in like, I have brought nourishment. And then you just kind of, I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Which, don't get me wrong, I super appreciate it. It was adorable and I, you know, thank you, a little curtsy. But, like, I was just like, why, why are you so serious? looming around I'm just zooming i don't recall any of that yeah well magic i guess 
Plague is man, man beast. Hunter of elk, sovereign of the moon. Hunter of elk, lover of women. <laughs> Do you have your office lanyard? Did I also bring honor? Yes. Yes. Klingang jech ach. Klingang mach. Klingang jech ach pach. Fereng die klink klich ach. There we go. Sorry, I think I just spit all over you. Please forgive me. Um, <sighs> tired. Did you mention my fake spaghetti? Oh, Eli made spaghetti. Yes, I did. I mentioned your spaghetti, Eli. He, I said, Eli made me dinner and it was very yummy and I didn't shit my pants, so he cooked it all the way through. <laughs> oh, and how I don't know what angel hair is. Eli made me noodles and I was like, oh, is this angel hair? And he's like, no, it's vermicelli. And I'm like, this is angel hair. And he's like, oh yeah. And he Googled it and I was like, oh yeah, it is vermicelli. And he acted like, he acted like I, I like spoke ill of his God. Like it's, Like it's 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 the same. It's just thin spaghetti. Oh, I'm sorry. I go oh, you googled it asshole. I googled it. I'm the asshole. But you know what I mean? I'm paraphrasing. So <laughs> I was wrong about your vermicelli. P please forgive me, sire. So ridiculous. I just said no, then you tried to prove me wrong and made a thing out of it. I would never do this, Eli. I would never do that to you. Uh, I hope you guys know by now that me, Pat, and Eli are like all unreliable narrators, especially those two. Just so when it comes to this stuff, we are unreliable narrators. All of us, mostly them. I just want to be clear. I would never do that, Red Panda. Listen, the person loudest is the rightest. That's right. And guess who that is? <laughs> I believe everything Pat says all the time to a literal level. That must be a strange experience. We all see, th see through the lens of ourselves and pages is cracked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this pot and really show you spanking rude. I'm so tired, but I don't want to be tired because I'm hungry. I just, man, I just want to like open up a can of made your feet loaf. No, Eli, make it with me later. Will you make it with me later? Because it will be fun. It will be fun to do. Is my brain tired or my body? Kind of both. I'm starting to get like, not a shooting pain, but like a dull ache on my hip and my feet hurt, especially my right. Paige hungry. Also Paige makes muffin cake and ice cream, but no food. That's right. That's how we work here. That's how we do it. What is feet loaf? Who knows? I should have some vegetables. Hmm. You've been watching horror movies, so you're watching the windows. It's fine. Nothing to fear. Oh, Eli. Oh, Eli wants me to cook some frozen food that he forced me to get. Um, so maybe I should bake some of that. Uh, Paige has frozen food she won't eat because it's not for rich people? What are you talking about? Oh, Eli, he has it in his head. So I, I was taught, like, try to make food from scratch as much as possible, nutrition-wise, blah, blah, blah. And I just never grew up on, like, frozen food, right, from the frozen aisle. It just, it just never, 
And then, and then Eli's like, no, you have to try it. And I was like, okay. And we did. And I was like, wow, that's really good. And he's like, yeah, you just, you just don't want to eat like the poors. And I'm like, I grew up like in a lower class. What the fuck, man? Like, it's just my parents are kind of farmery and make, like to make things from scratch. I was like, so I don't know. He has this perspective that I'm like, like crappy like that. I'm not meanie. Frozen food is more expensive. It's good though. Cause like the, for the first time in my life, while I've been down here, my mom, I was like, Oh, what are you making? And she's like, Oh, I'm, uh, I'm thawing like a, a shepherd's pie or something. And I'm like, did you make it? And she's like, no, it's from the store. And I'm like, what the fuck? I've never, cause she never did that. Mine know nothing about farmer. Eli, I'm not saying, I'm not saying your parents don't know about farmering. We just have different things. My parents, like I grew up on a lot of canned food. Like I really like canned food. So I'm more likely to eat like, you know, I like, I like Campbell's soup. That's kind of like, I used to eat nothing but Campbell's minestrone forever. Um, and actually one of my favorite, uh, uh, it's, oh, what is it called? Pierre Couchon, Couchon, something like that in, in Montreal, the best restaurant. It's like the highest rated fancy schmancy restaurant. I went there with Adam once. Um, it's, it's basically, it means pig's feet, I think. Yeah, it's, it's pig's feet. And the best thing on the menu that everyone recommends is a canned, it's like chicken in a can. And you're like, what the fuck? Live on stream, Paige opens a can and eats it cold while dead eyed. Do you dare me? I'll do it. That's nothing. I will open a can of, I will, I'm not scared of you. I'll do it right now. I've eaten mustard on a stage in front of hundreds of people. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you think that, come on, Eli, get it together. Who are you talking to over here? Such an asshole. Open a can of whoop ass. Do you dare me? I'll do it. Pa oh no, Paige will eat an actual meal. Shut up. Eli's mad because sometimes it better prove me wrong. Are you daring me? Because I'll do it. I don't care. I'll do it. It's not a big deal. It's cooked. Eli has to dare me or I'm not doing it. How is this a, Eli, how is that even a big deal? That is, sure, I dare you to eat. All right. Stupid. <laughs> Hold on. Where did I put it? Nope. Okay. So here's what I have. Like, it's not the only way to get me to eat consistently. Okay, so here's what I have. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay. So I have this can of minestrone, which is my favorite. This is Progresso, though. So it's like, whatever. This is so dumb. Wait a minute. Is this some weird fetish thing? Because I'm not going to do it if it's like weird sexual shit. Hold on. <laughs> like, this is so awkward. Hold on. Damn it. Maybe if I just kind of. <laughs> Everything is a weird fetish. It's awful. I'm not going to spit in the can, you weirdo. Yeah, you guys want to see my cans? Woo! Awful. All right. I don't have nails. Damn it. Oh, I hate that. Ow. I don't have the nails to open it. This is sad. Uh, oh. I'm not going to use my teeth. There we go. Ow. There we go. Let me throw that away. Wait, you want me to eat it out of the can?
Eli knows I, I, I nearly can resist a stupid dare that I know I can do very easily. Oh, excuse me. Devour it like Saturn. Just eat it, coward. Fine, whatever, here. Like, this isn't even a big deal. Whoa. Wild and crazy, no balls. Let's go. <laughs> Is this really that weird? <laughs> Busty redhead dives right in. Shut up. Oh, wait, hold on. You want me to have a dead-eyed stare? Hold on, ready? No, wait, no, that's... Now we're getting into some weird fetish shit. No. You can't fool me. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Not the weirdest thing you've ever done. Who hasn't eaten cold soup from a can? Damn it, hold on, I can't. My chat is too um, big. Don't tell anyone she lives like this. Shut up, you. <laughs> You're so mean. Uh. Although now I want to heat it up. Just because if it were like room temperature, it would be okay, but it's a little cold. I am so, I'm like weirdly tired. So I'm sorry if I just suddenly like just kind of stare off into space. Um, what do I want to do? Should I put it on the stove? What, what are you saying? What are you saying, Eli? I'll come over there and smack you. Um, I need a clean but it doesn't have to be that big. Oh, that'll do. Oh. Oh, nicely. Oh, I should probably put the soup in. Oh. <laughs> Cooking stream, everybody watch out. <clears throat> Chad is picking on Paige like she's the kid who eats bugs. It's fine. That's normal. I, I feel like if you guys aren't giving me like a little bit of guff, that's when it's like, okay, I'm sick. Or <laughs> like if everyone's like, it's okay, Paige. That's when it's time for me. Like, all right. <laughs> uh. Heating up soup is totally cooking. How oh, is you? Yeah, cooking. I'm cooking. See, you guys? <sighs> I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? I woke up tired. I lived tired and I will die tired. She's going to act, she's going to add rosemary and pretend it's different. I'm not adding shit. I'm tired. It's like that uh, Madeline, was it Madeline uh, Kahn song? I'm tired. <laughs> tired of playing the game. Ain't it a crying shame? <laughs> I'm so Tired. Can't you see she's pooped? <laughs> I've been with thousands of men again and again. It's always the same. Oh, love that song. Me and Pat like to sing it to each other. Like Pat will just come down the stairs and he's like, She's tired <laughs> and like kick his tiny little legs down the stairs like a little rockette. It's so cute. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let me get a soup bowl. Oh yeah, I don't really have soup bowls here. Well, well, tiny little bowl, but it'll be 
fine. Good enough, whatever. Nervous. Nope, what am I doing? Why am I so anxious about this? There, soup. Soup has occurred. I could eat it from the pan, but I don't feel like it. Mm. Do you and Pat just sing to each other constantly off stream? Yeah, probably. Why did I say probably? I wouldn't say constantly. Um, well, no, it's fine. I wouldn't say constantly, but we sing to each other quite a bit. But like, usually only a line or two. I'm the one that really is like, she's tired. Oh, did I dip my hair into the soup? <laughs> yeah, Eli sings a lot. He'll just be walking through and be like, together forever and ever to fall. Ah, no, it tastes like me. Mm. You eat hair all the time, who cares? Let me explain for myself. If I even think hair is in my food and I have to like see it or taste, put it in my mouth. I, I have a really strong stomach that game over. It's game over. Not going to happen. It's game over. Do I ever sing some star kids? Oh fuck. Um, yes. There's the one where there's the one where they're in, it's the zombie one, but they're in a musical. No, 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 they're, they're trapped in a musical. Is that? Mm. Show stop a number. That is so good. Mm. Hope you liked my cooking stream where I put this on a thing. Mm. The guy who didn't like musicals, yeah. It's just a show, stop a number. I think that's how it goes, doesn't it? I just remember the guy with the little piano. That sh Star Kids are, it's so funny. Oh, and the um, Firebringer. That one's really good. I, so I've never seen the Twisted musical. So for those of you who don't know, Star Kids kind of does like, um, they do kind of, um, what's the word? Like parody musicals of like well-known things like they've done. I mean, they do original stuff as well, but they, uh, Twisted is the version. It, it takes like Jafar from Disney's Aladdin and it shows how like, you know, shenanigans and stuff more from his perspective. So I really recommend checking out, uh, Star Kids. It's on YouTube. You can like, just look at all these great musicals that they've put on over the years. They've done a Harry Potter one, which is really funny. Um, they've done original stuff like Firebringer. I think it's Firebringer. Uh, they've done Twisted, the guy who didn't like musicals, I think. There's one that I re... I have to look it up. Hold on. There's one I super was crazy about, and I can't remember what it is right now. Hold on. Star Kids. Oops. Like, I mean, I was bonkers about it and singing it constantly. Oh, they did Oregon Trail. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, there's Firebringer. Damn it. Oh, did they do it? No. Fuck, hold on. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, hold on. Let's see. No. Mm. No. <laughs> well, anyway, it was really good. It's good shit, okay? There. Does Pat know you're making soup for someone else? I mean, it's soup for me. <laughs> he will be furious when he finds out. Paige, how dare you? <laughs> Pat knows I love to cook. And I mean, I would not call heating up soup. Cooking. What I, what I did make earlier, if you just joined, I made, attempted to make clafoutzi, but it did not turn out like I planned. It's not bad. It's just kind of like, it's more of a bready consistency. 
which is a bummer. Um, I was going to make meatloaf, but I think I'm going to do that either tomorrow or the day after. I have a dinner planned tomorrow with some friends, um, but maybe I could, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you'd send flowers with a message to Pat for home wrecking purposes? Oh, come on. Actually, I have a, I have a friends know, most of my friends know I'm crazy about flowers. Like, lore, I guess. Um, I love flowers. Love, 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 love. So, like, a bunch of friends will send me flowers. Um, I mean, they haven't recently because of COVID and all that stuff, but, like, a lot of times people will send me flowers because they know that that's one of my favorite kinds of gifts. And things like that. Why make meatloaf when you already have Zangief? I know. When you already have a big old fatty. Do I eat the flowers? No. But what I do do, do do, is I will just like walk over and be like, all the time. Because I love the smell of flowers. Especially um, peonies. I know it's a weed technically. I love dandelions so much. Um, uh, I like uh like uh ranunculus i like hydrangea i love tulips i like roses um daisies mums i just love i just love plants i'm not a good plant mom though i kill everything like i do not have a good green thumb so baby's breath is nice in small quantities i think it's stinky my mom actually she had a bunch of baby's breath in the house and she was walking around with me and um she's like yeah I th kept thinking I was smelling like pee and I'm like that's so weird and then she realized it was coming from the baby's breath and I was like baby's breath um I think they're they're a good accent flower I think having a bunch of them by themselves they, they're just they're like I don't know they're a little stinky not like bad necessarily I guess they're kind of like dogwood in that regard. Yeah, baby's breath is though that fluffy, lacy white, usually white thing, um, filler of bouquets. They're nice. I like them, but I, I would not like too many of them. Um, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank the people, as they say. And then I think I'm gonna finish this up clean this room because it is a disaster and um probably lay down oh wait no <gasps> pat and i are gonna watch cruella oh my god i completely forgot that's gonna be fun <laughs> maybe i'll make him watch it tomorrow i don't i don't want to interrupt his good night with his pals oh gosh I'm so excited. Okay, Ahem. let us give thanks. Ahem. Can't see with my eyes. Dank Gerald used 500 bits and said, if you like cocktails, how to drink is such a charming man who loves making all sorts of drinks. And in these sick times, it helps to tackle life like me. Sterilize your bloodstream via alcohol. How to drink. I will look, that. is that on YouTube? I will look that up. Ashrocks117. Subscribe, thank you kindly. Binary Fireball resub for 20 months. Two cups sugar, one cup flour, four eggs, 32 secret shame candies. Yum, yum, yum. Life's Never Humdrum donated, wait, I'm gonna put my hair in there. Donated 509, thank you. And said, ordering food while watching you cook. It's almost like real. <laughs> Good luck, please don't damage yourself. I'll try. I am I always try, but I can't promise. Shotgun Hobo gifted a sub to Ayoto Core and Babagucha. Thank you so much and enjoy, guys. Chained Wolfstress resubbed for 16 months in a row. Thank you. Aztec 50 resubbed for 23 months in a row. Thank you kindly. Vivacious F resubbed for eight months and said, Hell yeah, food stream. Yes, indeed. The Blue Warden donated $10 and said, Howdy do, Paige. Huzzah for a surprise cooking stream. Thanks for keeping me company while I do laundry and paint goblins. It is my pleasure. Thank you guys for keeping me company. Because otherwise I would just be sitting here scrolling through TikToks and bitching at my friends. Uh, Dink Gerald used 500 bits and said, uh, I said I'd donate a thousand if I was wrong about the butter, but I don't think I was. So here is half of that. Aw, that's really nice of you. You didn't have to do that. 
Um, and it's like, I think, I think it was the flour, um, or maybe it was the butter, who knows? I mean, it is what it is. If I, if I attempt to make it again, which I think I will, because I really want Eli to try it, um, I will make sure I have, mm, excuse me, all-purpose flour this time. And then we'll find out. Sleep of Giants donated to Doll Hairs and said, Jesus Christ, you literally made a muffin that is also literally, truly a cake. I'm telling you. I'm tell that's, that's a cake. And a muffin at the same time. Blackbird at 914, resubbed for 13 months. Thank you. Chosen Wan, 42, subscribed. Red Panda, 25, resubbed. Thank you so much. What's that? Oh, okay. Italian Waifu, resubbed for three months. This is worth all the months subbed. Thank you. Much obliged. Uh, Cloudation, subscribed. And... Texas Tofu resubbed at tier two. Thank you for 30 months in a row and said, hi, mom. Hello, dear. Hello. Is Eli inside the house? No, he is not. He is not here. That is why I keep bitching at him to arrive, but he shan't because he's rude. Eli is a spooky ghost, probably. Temper oils, butter tends to affect cakiness the most. I fucked up brownies before. You know what? Maybe, um, maybe they're right. Maybe it was the butter. Um, I will have more butter next time, but I, hmm, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll add more butter next time. Is the house inside Eli? Who knows? No one knows for sure. Guys, thank you so much for joining me out. Back starting to go. Uh, I had a really good time. I was anxious and nervous for, for no reason because I don't know. Um, but that was fun, honestly. Uh, I may... I may come back and do a meatloaf stream either tomorrow or the day after. Tomorrow I am having uh, dinner with some friends, so I think um, I'm trying. I don't know if I'll be hungry for meatloaf, but I think it'll be an early dinner, so like a, like a five o'clock dinner. Um, maybe we'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know. Um, it'll be tomorrow or the day after, and hopefully Eli will be around and I'll bug the shit out of him. Um, so thanks again for coming. As I like to say, I love you and I'm proud of you. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you're proud of me, even though I fucked up my muffin cake that I thought I was a big swinging dick with and fucked up, but it's fine. It's completely edible, and I'm probably going to have it for breakfast tomorrow. So uh, have a wonderful evening. And I will see you soon. Um, I will probably send you guys somewhere, but I haven't decided where, so. Uh, all right, Papyrus, do you want anything? He, he is good, good and, and he is sweet, sweet and he has nice feet. feet. Beep, beep. He is good and he is sweet. He is big and he is strong and he is nice feet.
let's do it.